reflections everywhere. You're looking at the world through a kaleidoscope. We learn how to make this fascinating tool. But first, let's start with something simpler. Do you notice anything interesting about the video today? It's mirrored. Whatever is on the left is reflected on the right side. If you mirror half of my face, the result is almost the same as my actual face. This is because human faces are mostly symmetrical. A line which divides an object into two equal parts is called a line of symmetry. And the object will be symmetrical about this axis of symmetry. There are a lot of objects in nature which follow the rules of symmetry. Can you think of a few? Wow! Look at that butterfly. Isn't it beautiful? Do you notice anything interesting about this butterfly? If we draw an imaginary vertical line down the middle, we find that it divides the butterfly into two equal halves. Check that out. The butterfly is drinking nectar from a flower. Let's get a closer look. Is the flower it is sitting on also symmetrical? Can we draw an imaginary line which divides the flower into two equal parts? Yes, we can. So the flower is also symmetric. Look at the leaves of the plant on which the butterfly is sitting now. Are they also symmetric? Yes. We will again draw a line to see whether we get two equal halves or not. Yes, it is also symmetric. The beauty of nature inspires our architecture and design. Even the rangoli we find outside our houses is influenced by nature. These patterns are symmetrical, sometimes across multiple lines of symmetry. Do you want to know how to create a device that will let you see symmetry everywhere? This is a kaleidoscope. It is what we use to create the pattern at the beginning of the video. It has two or more rectangular shaped mirrors inside. The angle between the mirrors determines the number of lines of symmetry. You can also make a kaleidoscope at home and see these beautiful patterns for yourself. It's easy to create and use. We need three rectangular mirrors. We will join these three mirrors. to form a structure like this. Now put this in a cylindrical tube made up of cardboard. Close one end of the tube and make a hole in the center. This will help you see through it. Put some pieces of colored paper on the other end and close it with a transparent object. Your kaleidoscope is ready. Now you can observe these beautiful symmetrical patterns for yourself. <laughs> and remember, we stay curious.